Also guys, visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a clean portfolio using portfolio books. So guys, as you know, when you're making a portfolio, there is a lot of options to choose from. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a very underrated website, which can make you a very clean portfolio. During this video, I'm going to show you how to use the website Portfolio Box to make a clean and professional portfolio. However, guys, before we do get into the video, can I just ask if you can leave a like on the video? If we can break 500 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. And finally, guys, before I do start with the video, I would just like to say there is a 10% off discount code for the year subscription on portfolio box and finally guys I would just like to mention that there is a 10% off discount code for the year subscription of course you can make a free portfolio using portfolio box but if you want to get some of the extra features which can be shown on screen now then you will need to get yourself the yearly subscription normally this is $82 but with the link in the description down below you can get yourself 10% off now this discount code is only valid for the first year however you're going to save a lot of money by using it however guys as I said you can get a free account on portfolio box you just won't get all of the features that are on there so guys with that being said I'm gonna head over to my computer and let me show you how to make a clean and professional website using portfolio box so guys as you can see right now I'm over on the portfolio box website and I'm currently looking at the prices as I said before there is a free option and also a pro version so the free option is going to get you hosting of 30 images hosting of 10 products and hosting of 10 pages however if we look to the pro side you can see you will get a free domain, website hosting included, a thousand images, unlimited pages, unlimited products and also unlimited blog posts. There is also extra stuff you will get, for example free support, all design templates, Instagram pages and so forth. I will leave a link to this pricing website in the description down below if you do wish to check it out. And as I said I will also leave a link to the 10% off discount code which you can use if you are interested in getting the year subscription. However now I am on the main portfolio box net website which I will leave a link to in the description down below of course or you can just search it up on your browser they will give you some examples of websites you can make using their website so I definitely recommend to check those out before you do start once you are ready all you have to do is press the sign up icon in the right hand corner and sign up for an account as you can see right now I'm on the sign up page it's actually really simple you just need to input your name username email and a password a lot of the usernames are taken so I'm going to type in visual JD let's see if that's taken okay it's not taken luckily visual JD is not taken so I'm gonna go ahead and use that www.visualjd.portfoliobox.net once you have finished inputting your information just press sign up here and as you can see it will take you to a page which says your website is now done um, so my domain is visualjd.portfoliobox.net once you press log into your site it will guide you through a tutorial process which is quite simple I definitely recommend you go through it if you haven't used portfolio box already so the first question they ask you is where do you want to place your menu I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, wide let's go with that option uh, what color background do you want I'm gonna go with gray uh, what font I'm gonna choose a sans font after that it's going to guide you through the basics but I'm gonna go ahead and skip this just because I'm gonna show you how to do this in this video so once you have finished the tutorial you will get a blank canvas which you can work with so I'm gonna go ahead and guide you through the settings and then we'll make a quick portfolio so all of these settings are located on the right hand side as you can see here the first icon over here is the build tool and then over to the right we have more settings and detailed information on there I'm gonna go back to the build tool and guide you through everything that is on their website so first of all we have create page so if we press this of course we can create a brand new page on the website and then we have edit page so that will give you more detailed editing options where you can edit the selected page below that we have layout so um well go on boy much. Oh. What's up boys, Carl Lawrence here and I'm Visual Arts' friend. Uh, well guys, that was a bit unexpected. My uh, friends just rocked up to the door. Let's go back to the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so moving on, we've got the layout page, which of course will let you edit the layout of the website. Next to that, we have the menu page, which will let you edit the page, the custom link, the spacing, and also the characters. Below that, we have the colors and fonts. You guys already know this will make the colors change, the menu change, the text change, and also the buttons. Next to that, we have logo, which will let you add logo text or your personal 
channel logo depending on what you want. And finally below that we have the pages icon which will let you go ahead and edit the different pages and move them around. And now moving on to the settings icon you can see there is a variety of settings here say for example the domain name, the statistics, the language and also the SEO. Below that we have social media links which you can add so you've got Facebook, Twitter and so forth. Below that we have customize so this will let you customize the JavaScript. It's a bit too confusing for me so I just leave this feature and also it's only available for the pro version. Below that we have e-commerce which will let you edit the commercial settings on your website. Moving on we have communication so if you have a contact page on your portfolio they will come through here on the contact messages. Below that we have billing and then we also have marketing. They're a bit too complicated for me so I just leave those settings. So let's move back to the edit tool here and let's just create a new page and we're going to make a landing page. So let's go to cover over here and we are going to choose the big title and let's just press select and as you can see it will open up a separate window where we can edit this. First of all is the page title so I'm going to name this visual arts just so everyone knows my name. We've also got image so I'm going to select a file here and for this example we're literally going to choose something random. For me to show you I'm just going to choose a random thumbnail of mine so I'm just going to press on the 2D versus 3D and press open just so you guys get an idea of what it does look like. As I said I'm just going to show you the simple settings of the portfolio box website and how to make one yourself. If I close this down here you can see this covers the whole page so we have a landing page now which you can of course choose your own picture and you can also make one in Photoshop beforehand and have it as your background. What I'm going to go ahead and do is save a image from Google and we're just going to save this into our pictures and this can be for the website so I'm going to call it web and now we can go back we can press edit this page and go onto the settings and change the content. So I'm going to remove that last image and we're going to find this brand new one just so we can have a nice background and upload this one quickly and as you can see it works really well just a nice plexus background that we can use. You can also change the image position which I don't really want to do and you can add a link to the page if they click the image. Below that we have header so we can add some main text so I'm going to add some text that says uh, visual arts in full caps and we're also going to change the font here to I'm going to go for um, Aldrich that looks like a good font and you can change the font color as well so if we choose white let's have a look at what this looks like there you go you can see what the text looks like but unfortunately the font size isn't big enough so we're going to go to edit this page go back to edit content and we're going to increase the font size to the max as you can see if I close that down again it does look really nice I don't know if the font works really well but that's up to you I'm going to try a different font here archivo black and we can close this down scroll up close this down again and this one definitely does make it look a lot cleaner so I'm going to keep with this one here and now we have a nice heading to our portfolio and of course as I said you can add some more text below this like a description text or whatever you want as I said in this tutorial I don't really want to go into too much detail of course this website is really easy to use so you can go ahead and make one for yourself so I'm going to move on to the portfolio page now so we're going to go to gallery and it will give you a variety of different options but I'm going to choose even rows and press select and that will open up a brand new page for us. For the page title I'm going to call it visuals portfolio and as you can see here it will add that to the title page. After that it gives you the option to upload some images so I'm going to go to select images and we're going to select some to use. I am literally going to go ahead and choose random pictures for us to use and press open on them all and there we go we have seven images to start with. Finally when the image Images do load I can close this down and as you can see all of the images will load up on the website the great thing about portfolio box is that you can see images in really good quality so if we press on the banner we can view it in a higher definition the images are now loading on my portfolio so it does turn out that you can upload more than one image at a time which is nice so guys there is a lot more features to actually explore on portfolio box so as I said if you do want to test it out just go ahead and make a free account you can test it out see if you like it or not and of course if you do then you can buy the pro version I don't really want to go into further detail because it will take a long time to show you how to make a full proper website using portfolio box but just understand that at the moment a lot of designers are switching from things like carbon made Wix to portfolio box so I definitely recommend you go ahead and check it out and explore what it has to offer anyways guys that is it for the video hopefully you did enjoy as I said there is a 10% off discount code for the yearly 
subscription in the description down below. Also guys, as I said at the start of the video, if we can try and shoot for 500 likes on this video, that would be greatly appreciated and it will show me that you guys want to see more tutorials like this in the future. And also guys, this was a really long video, so if you made it this far into the video, then comment down below, hashtag portfolio boys, and it will show me that you made it this far. As always, if you would like to check out my social medias, they are on screen now and also in the description down below, I'm very active on there. Also guys, if you want to stay notified every time I upload a video, make sure you turn post notifications on and you will be notified when I upload. Also guys, one last thing, I would really appreciate it if you checked out my second channel. It's not really a second channel, it's like my other channel. I post a lot of different stuff on there, so if you would like to check that out, that would be greatly appreciated. It's in the description down below. Right guys, so now I've finished plugging everything. As I said, hopefully you did enjoy this video. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Not the same, we are not the same. Different name